precision dairy technology use on dairy farms has steadily increased over the past several years. Technologies developed for use in other industries are being adapted to use on dairy farms, and farmers, just like the rest of society, are becoming increasingly comfortable with the use of technologies in all aspects of their lives. Today, robots can milk and feed cows with limited human involvement. High-tech sensors can monitor the physiological condition of an individual cow, allowing the dairy farmer to make more informed management decisions on how to treat her, sometimes days earlier than would have been possible without the aid of the technology. One example of increased technology use is in the area of cow activity monitors, which have been available for decades to aid dairy farms in managing cow reproduction. Most modern dairy farms use artificial insemination to breed their cows. To ensure that the cow is being bred at the appropriate time, farmers will watch cows for signs that they are in heat, such as increased activity or mounting other cows. While older systems use pedometers to measure the number of steps a cow took each day, Modern activity monitors use accelerometers to measure vibrations or small changes in a cow's movement. Accelerometers are the same technology used by athletes or other people to monitor their physical activity or performance during a workout. There are three parts to cow activity monitors. The first is an activity tag containing the accelerometer, which is mounted on either the cow's leg, to a collar around her neck, or on her ear, depending on the brand of activity monitor used. The activity tag uses radio frequency identification, RFID, technology to wirelessly transfer data from the cow to the second part, an antenna, which reads information transmitted wirelessly from the activity tag. And then the third part, which is a computer or other device that is used to interpret the data from the tag and present it to the farmer. After the cow is fitted with the activity sensor, the monitoring system takes about one week to establish a baseline level of activity for an individual cow. After that baseline is established, the computer then monitors the cow for increases or decreases in activity. An increase in activity can indicate that the cow is coming into heat and is ready to be bred, whereas a decrease in activity may indicate that the cow is sick. In either case, the farmer will be notified of the activity change and be able to respond accordingly. In addition to measuring the cow's activity, several of these systems also monitor the amount of time a cow spends ruminating, which provides further insight into her health. Dairy cows are ruminant animals, as are sheep, goat, and deer. Ruminants have large, four-chambered stomachs, with the largest being the rumen. Having a rumen allows dairy cows to quickly eat a large amount of feed with little chewing. Then later, when she has more time, a cow will regurgitate the feed, rechew it, and re-swallow it. This process is called rumination, or chewing cud. Rumination aids in breaking down the feed into smaller particles and adds saliva to the rumen. A typical rumination bout, the time that a cow spends chewing between regurgitating and re-swallowing the feed, will last about one minute and the cow will chew 70 to 80 times. A cow will normally spend about eight hours each day ruminating. A sudden drop in rumination time can indicate a health problem. However, cows also eat less while in heat, so a decrease in rumination with a corresponding increase in activity can help confirm that a cow is in heat. Rumination can be measured in a couple of different ways. Neck-mounted systems contain a microphone in the cow's collar that monitors the sound of the cow chewing. Ear-mounted tags use accelerometers to monitor small twitches of the cow's ear associated with chewing during rumination. Both systems calculate a total number of minutes spent ruminating and compare that to the normal behavior of that animal as an assessment of the general health of the cow. In addition to monitoring activity and rumination, some systems also measure the temperature of the cow and others can determine the amount of time a cow spends standing or lying each day and the number of times she lays down or stands up. The cow's overall health can be monitored when the activity, rumination, and these other measurements are all taken together. The information from these systems can then enable the dairy farmer to adjust their management practices and care. Activity monitoring systems are not limited to any one particular type of farm. They can be used in any size dairy and management systems, from dairy farms with a 50-cow tie stall barn to 900-cow free stall barns and any size or type of management system in between.
Additionally, activity monitoring systems can be integrated with a farm's robotic milking system, which can then provide an even greater amount of information about individual cow health. Because of the benefits and flexibility of these systems, these techniques have been adapted on many farms across Pennsylvania. These types of activity monitoring systems provide a variety of benefits. Improved breeding management. Greater insight into cow health. Decreased labor. Reduced veterinary cost. Increased production. The primary challenge with adopting this technology is that the dairy farmer needs to learn how to integrate the system's information with actual dairy management. It's important to remember, these systems should not be used to replace good managers and good management, but rather used as tools that assist the dairy farmer in becoming an even better manager by using the expanded information that these monitoring systems provide. Cow activity monitors are not appropriate for every dairy farm or every dairy farmer. However, this and other precision technologies will continue to gain in popularity as dairy farmers look for ways to increase efficiency and productivity, improve cow health, and be more profitable. Additional information about these systems can be found on the Penn State Extension Dairy website.